Hello everyone, this is Misha Houston, and I'm here to do my analysis of Elaine 1, the sample chapter from the, the Winds of Winter. The first danger that I think that Sansa will be facing is from the Knights of the Three Sisters. Now, not too long ago I was rereading a Dance of Dragons, which is this book here. And I saw a few passages in this that help that that I remember seeing in the Elaine sample chapter that George R. R. Martin once released to the public. It was actually one of the Davos chapters, which was very strange to me because they've had no affiliation with each other. I was very surprised by this. I was very surprised at what I had read in the first Davos chapter. And I, I had to wonder about the Elaine chapter. It made me wonder about that chapter and what will be happening to Sansa in, in the, her future chapters when the Winds of Winds comes out. Now, as I said before, the first danger she will be facing is the Knights from the Three Sisters. Now, I'm going to be reading a few passages from the Elaine sample chapter and from Davos, the Davos, the first Davos chapter in A Dance with Dragons. And I hope that you can see the similarities. And I hope that this rings true for you as it rung true for me. Thank you. The competitors came from all over the Vale, from the mountain valleys and the coast, from Gold Town and the Bloody Gate, and even the three sisters. Those sistermen who came in yesterday were gallant, she said, to change the subject. If you don't like Sir Ossifer or Sir Uther, marry one of them instead. I thought the youngest one was very handsome. Miranda rolled her eyes. They are from the sisters. Did you ever know a sisterman who could joust? They clean their swords with codfish oil and wash in tubs of cold seawater. Now, later on, Sansa even dances with the Sunderlings, which are the lords one of the few lords of the three islands, the three sisters. She danced with all three Sunderlands, none of whom had webs between their fingers, though she could not vouch for their toes. Now, in the first Davos chapter, in the Winds of Winter, he describes the three sisters and its people. There was nothing sweet about Sisterton, it is a vile town, a sty, a small and mean and rank with the odors of pig shit and rotting fish. Davos remembered it well from his smuggling days. The three sisters had been a favorite haunt of smugglers for hundreds of years and a pirate's nest before that. Sisterton streets were mud and planks, its houses daub and waddle hovels roofed with straw and by the gallows gate there were always hanged men with their entrails dangling out sisterton is hell enough davos feared the worst the three sisters were fickle bitches loyal only to themselves supposedly they were sworn to the errands of the veil but the eerie's grass upon the islands was tenuous at best. Lord Godric began to eat his trencher, tearing it apart in his big hands. The stew had softened the stale bread. I have no love for Northmen, he announced. The maesters say that the rape of the three sisters was 2,000 years ago, but Sisterton has not forgotten. We are a free people before that with our kings ruling over us. Afterwards, they, we had to bend our knees to the Erie to get the Northmen out. The wolf, 
which is the Starks, and the Falcon, which is the Aarons, fought over us for a thousand years, till between the two of them they gnawed all of the fat and flesh off of these bones of this porous island. Now, I am going to leave a description and a link for you to click on for the rape of the three sisters. But I am also going to read a little bit of what happened during, the, during that time period. Previously, a free people ruled excuse me previously a previously free people ruled there by their own kings the islands of the three sisters were conquered by northmen who tried who got tired of their pillaging and pirating according to the chronicles written by the sister men and the men of the vale of Aaron, the northmen committed numerous atrocities supposedly they killed children and cooked them in pots disemboweled men and wound their entrails around spits and executed 3,000 warriors in a single day at Hedman's Mount. And Baltasar Bolton, who is a descendant of, of you know, Ruse and Ramsey Bolton, made a pink pavilion out of the flayed skins of a hundred sister men. Northern accounts of the war do not mention these actions. Now, since there is no mention of this, Sansa wouldn't know anything about this. If they were to attack her, she would be totally blindsided. She wouldn't see it. And as Davo said, these people are nothing but smugglers and pirates. They're selfish and they have no money. So that would put that would make them very dangerous, seeing as they have nothing to lose. Sansa literally knows nothing about the people of the three sisters, and they don't know anything about her true identity. If they knew who she really was, would they protect her? And or would they hand them over? hand her over to the queen for a good ransom. These people, as I said before, don't care about anything or anyone but themselves. And I have to wonder if they knew Santa's identity, would they sell her out to the queen? According to Davos, the three sisters are notoriously poor and they only care for themselves. Its people are the sons of pirates and smugglers. So would they smuggle her away from the veil? And worst of all, they have held a, gr a grudge against the northerners for thousands of years. According to the sistermen, the northerners committed horrible and heinous acts against them. Are they going to be willing to let go of a 2,000 year old grudge just for Sansa's sake? Or will they try to exact revenge? Thank you so very much. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section. And as I said before, I will be leaving a link to the rape of the three sisters if you want to read more about what happened during the, during the war between the Starks and the Aarons. Thank you so very much. And if you like this video, make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I am more than willing to answer any questions that you have for me. Make sure you just leave them in the comment section and I will uh, respond to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you so much and look for part two. It will be up very soon. Enjoy your life as I do and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much.